So what I want to cover in this video is an easier way to have the credentials put into PowerShell when we're talking Office 365. Now, the script here that I've got is a standard one which connects to uh, Exchange Online. So if I go in here and I run that, you'll see that what it does there is it's uh, prompting me for my credentials that I then have to enter and then it will go and connect into uh, Office 365. Now, the line here is the one that uh, basically goes out and gets those credentials. So every time that I run this script, I'm going to need to go and get those credentials and type them in manually. So if I want to uh, automate that and save the credentials, there is a way that we can do that. So what I'll do is just close the PowerShell session down, start it up again, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to basically uh, load a, a script here and what it's going to do uh, basically is it's going to uh, save the credentials to a file so what I need to do is just go and open there and what I'm going to do is go down to a script that I've got here called save cred and basically what it's going to do is get the credential again but you'll see it's going to export it to a uh, XML file and then save it into a directory on this machine so if I go in and I run that all right, you'll see I get the familiar uh, credentials and then I put in uh, my password. All right, so then what it's done uh, when it completes, it will save that out. Now, if I go out and have a look at uh, that location, so if I go out and have a look at my downloads and go down to the tenant XML that you see here, double click on that, you'll see that uh, I get an indication of what the file looks like. So again, standard sort of XML, you'll see here I've got the username that I used but you'll also notice that the password basically has been encrypted uh, into this secure string. So we've now got that file on our machine that we can take advantage of. Now, the way we can take advantage of that is to basically go out and get that credential, right? So the way I'm gonna do that is I've got another script here that if I go down and find that script, what it's going to do, it's going to go out and import that XML file with all the credentials and it's going to save it in a, um, a variable here called uh, cred. All right, so what I'm gonna do is again, just run that, and that's gonna go out and it's gonna get that file. Now, if I go to uh, $cred and then have a look at the username, you'll see here that it has that. So what I've done is taken from that XML file, the login uh, and the password. So what I'll do now is I will call on that exchange uh, login script again. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, basically comment out uh, the fact of it going out and getting the credentials. So again, it's going to clear the screen, import the online module, then it's going to connect to the MS online service using dollar cred now that we've set up dollar cred back here by importing from that XML file. So let's go and run that. And again, we won't be prompted to put in any credentials and we should see that it now connects up to our Office 365. So again, that's gonna make life easy if you need to log in uh, to those um, tenants on a regular basis, all right? So basically what we did there is we ran the script once that uh, saved those credentials out to an XML file uh, using this uh, command here. And then when we want them, we just, again, run the import of the XML file and save it to a variable. And then we can use that variable as though it was the uh, get credentials. So that should make life much easier when it comes to using PowerShell, especially when you're logging into tenants regularly or into multiple tenants.